Hello and welcome to the bonus round video I am making in follow-up to my interview with Mark Laren Young. To keep this video short and sweet, it's very simple, it's a list of my favourite lines from each episode that Mark wrote. One line per episode. There's seven episodes, so let's quote all seven lines. With my impression of each one as various characters say them. I wasn't able to do this in the interview proper due to time, so that exercise is tackled here. Mark, you wrote some of my favourite episodes of the show, and by that token, some of my favourite lines as well. Thank you once again, Mark. I'm not going to be able to tell a story about each of these. Most of them are lines that I remember hearing when I was young. They fall into that early memory of watching something for me. But others, I'll see if I can tell a story. Just whatever comes to mind, so I'll ad-lib off my script. So, let's go. Episode 5, There's No Place Like Home. Lord Fear, wait. Let's prolong the agony. Wait. Huh? Let's prolong the agony. <sighs> <Yeah. laughs> it sticks in my head so much, I just love that line. <laughs> Episode 11, Tunnel of Love. Random virus. No room for kindness. No room for kindness. That was a line that really scared me as a child, and I loved it. Very, very memorable. <laughs> Ooh. Episode 16, Unidentified Flying Superhero. Sparks. Do right, right, and fear, no, fear not. Do right, right, and fear, no, fear not. That one was very emotional and sad, that moment, just that whole scene. It reminds me a lot of the second season when Lady Illusion died, just having the death of Sparks. Very similar scene, just the way it's written and the outcome. Really, really, really upsetting. You're very good at this, Mark, <laughs> at upsetting people in the stuff that you write. It's a talent. Run with it. It does make for some amazing drama and invest you in what's happening, makes you want more, and that's exactly what that moment did. Episode 24, The Play is the Thing, Dirty Rat. Just to give context to this scene, Dirty Rat has been able to find a piece of the amulet that they've been looking for the entire episode, and he says that he lost it. He tells Lord Fear this, except he hasn't. He's kept it hidden. Filthy spy and thief liar that he is. Great character. And so what he's planning at this point is to try and overthrow Lord Fear, not that he hasn't tried this before, but he's serious this time, with the piece that he has. So Dirty Rat's line is, Oh yeah, I'll make it up to you, boss. Or, maybe I'll just destroy you! Oh yeah. Make it up to you, boss. Or maybe I'll just destroy you! <laughs> that one was another freaky line, because you don't expect it. Or watching it as a kid, I didn't see that coming. And you're just like, yeah, he's serious about this. And it's really, yeah, it's jarring and scary. Episode 30, A Secret Life, Kilobyte. Okay, again, context. So the story is, Ace has just been infected with these unstable human emotions by Lady Illusion. How did she get this power? Kilobyte, the new big bad of the season. So Lord Fear and Ace fought, although Kilobyte's whole thing was psychological warfare. So it's like, okay, we'll have this moment, and then Ace, you know, screws up badly and feels guilty with his emotions. So Kilobyte's trying to torture him first and foremost. That's his whole thing for this season. And Lord Fear, well, they let Ace go, pretty much, and Lord Fear's confused by the whole thing. He's like, weren't we trying to destroy him? And Kilobyte's just like, you had your whole chance to do it, numerous times actually. So now we're going to wait for his emotions to destroy him. So Kilobyte's line, one of my absolute favourites, now we'll wait for his emotions to destroy him. They'll destroy him and destroy everyone and everything he's ever cared about. And then this game is over. Now we'll wait for his emotions to destroy him. They'll destroy him and destroy everyone and everything he's ever cared about. And then this game is over. It's like, how do you follow up on that? This guy really means business. Such a great line. Well done, Mark. 
episode 32, The Search for Sparks, Anvil. So for a bit of levity after that last one, Anvil has been itching to beat up the good guys the entire episode, and he finally gets his chance, or does he? So the line is, Anvil crush you like mosquito! Anvil crush you like mosquito! <sighs> That was a good one. It's just, it kind of shows more intelligence on Anvil's part because he was really dumb. But for him to use the word mosquito, I'm like, oh, that's memorable and kooky. It sticks out and uh, yeah, that is a big word for such a tiny brain. <laughs> Nothing all that wowing about that line, but, you know, it's just something I really love. Episode 39, The Master Plan, Kilobyte. Major spoilers, Kilobyte is about to be defeated and Lord Fears betrayed him, leading to his destruction. So Kilobyte, he doesn't plead with Lord Fear, but he's just like, you know, don't, don't rob me of this moment, please. This is what I'm supposed to do. Basically, that's, that's the idea behind that. So Kilobyte's line, Thine wouldn't rob me of my glory. Thine wouldn't rob me of my glory. <laughs> so, hang on. Did Kilobyte say thine, T-H-I-N-E? I thought, who is he, God? He fancies himself a god, for sure. I don't know if he actually says thine, though it does sound like it. Just the language being used really sticks out in that moment. So yeah, the moment before his defeat, it's great that they had a memorable line, or a memorably written line, in my opinion, you know, right beforehand. So I do really give credit there, Mark. <laughs> No, good way to cut things right there for Kilobyte. Well, folks, thank you for watching and stay tuned to the channel for more content. Take care now. I'm an idiot,